What is up everybody, Brickfielder here. Welcome back to some Hypixel Skyrim. And today we're going to talk about a topic that I've kind of been wanting to talk about for a while, but I haven't really kind of finalized what I want to talk about. But today I finally figured it out. And we are going to be talking about eSports. And yes, you hear me right, eSports, which in my eyes are considered real sports. Now, personally, for me, a sport doesn't even mean it has to be physical. For me, a sport is anything that's team that's team or solo based. It doesn't even have to be team based, which a lot of people do say sports have to be, which they don't. There's there's people who play sports by themselves, you know, think about it. There's sports where it's just you up there and that's all you need. And that sort of thing. That's like sports that are like that. But basically, a lot of people, and this is not so much I would say the current generation, but rather other generations, and there's definitely people from the current generation who didn't grow up with gaming as like a big prominent thing. So they don't personally view esports as a real sport or a real competition, or even a real career for that matter. Gaming careers are still somewhere that a lot of people can't fathom, which I mean, I can sort of see their, um, I guess their viewpoints, because media and mainstream sources such as that kind of make the jobs made out to be as, oh, this guy just sits there, has like plays games all day and gets paid. That's basically what happens, and YouTubers who do gaming videos get bashed for that all the time. When in reality, there's a lot of work that goes into it. But that whole topic is for another video. But basically, I personally am glad esports are finally becoming more accepted. They're getting into colleges. You can now get a scholarship at certain colleges for esports, which I think is like ridiculous and kind of crazy. The fact that that's like a thing that now colleges are like accepting and understanding. That is like a thing that most people do like and support. Now, by esports becoming more socially accepted, I feel like it's only going to grow the industry, which is always a good thing. Because, I mean, you know, basically, I'd say the bigger the better, the more the merrier, you know, sort of feeling. I think it kind of be applied in this aspect. But what's more important here is just that, basically, I'm really glad that esports are now accepted in a lot of colleges. Not all yet, but hopefully with, you know, colleges hopping on board and then people getting scholarships and making real careers out of gaming that I guess people believe to be a real career that will hopefully only grow the industry and will only make more people become accepting of these sort of jobs because there definitely are people who view gamers as a career like basically not doing any real work which I think is completely false I mean I've been doing YouTube for quite a while now and I can tell you there's a lot of work involved there's definitely fun but there's just as much work in it and I mean realistically every job if you're doing your job and there's no fun in it you chose the wrong job in my eyes but you know that's besides the point so yeah i'm just really glad that now scholarships exist for esports i mean i personally don't see myself going into an esports career realistically i don't think many people do either as much as you love video games going into an esports career is generally pretty difficult to do it's just that now that you can get scholarships for it and it puts it on the, you on the same playing field as you know like professional sports players it's very difficult to get to that level too of athleticism where you get you know paid a ton of money to be on a team which you know, kudos to you if you are, um, like, if you're capable of doing that, but the thing is that you gotta have realistic expectations. Although that esports are a thing that now are getting more accepted, the thing is that you gotta remember, not everybody can do it, and not everybody will be able to do it, and not everybody will be offered, offered the opportunity to as well. So there's just lots of different aspects to it. Okay, we need to try to not die here. So, um, let me, like, pearl over there, gapple up, yep. And I mean, esports as a whole, just really glad that a lot of people view them now as like an actual thing that is, you know, I guess considered a skill. Because at one point, people did not really consider playing video games. You know, people say, oh, it's a waste of time, you know. And like how, I don't know, playing video games like, like makes you lower your IQ level and that sort of thing. Which, all those claims are completely false. And I mean, I can 100% confirm that. There's so many myths about gaming, which are made literally just to basically they like, delegitimize like anybody who does have a career in it currently and anybody who plans to or dreams for one in the future so that's definitely a thing and all right we got to go for this person right now take them on they're pretty low on hp uh well that was a pretty good pearl but it didn't work um we aggressive pearl and splash that on them oh oh my goodness we're not even gonna get a ton of strength on them oh my gosh we just wasted our energy kit okay okay that's not gonna hit Yes, there we go. Beautiful. They're dead. Let me go loot up what their corpse has. But yeah, esports as a whole, definitely a very cool like concept in my eyes. I think it's great that people have a chance to kind of live out that dream and can actually, you know, get scholarships for it if you're good enough in your craft, which in my opinion, video games are a craft and they do require skills to play. Maybe not the exact same skills that sports do. You know, you could argue that 
you know, maybe you don't have to be good at throwing to, I don't know, play video games or whatnot. But the point is that you still require skills. And in my eyes, anything that requires a skill is pretty much work that benefits society. And video games, they do benefit society, just not in the same way in a traditional sense. Overall, I'm really proud of the world and society as a whole for basically kind of getting video games to a point where they're getting more accepted. And I have to largely attribute this to people's vast use of the internet nowadays. The internet is literally a go-to place for like everything you could possibly ever need to know, which you know, is very good for, I guess, the people who kind of doubt in disc gaming. They can kind of say, oh, well, I use technology all the day, all the time. You know, just the boom of technology really has, I think, benefited gaming in a ways that make it more acceptable, which would never have been possible without it. I mean, with the giant boom of the internet and then the boom of technology and then, you know, all that stuff just together, it works. And it really is what, fl it's flourished in the past decade or five years or whatever and that's really helped and all right you are dead as well all right those are some easy kills and all righty um what okay they went behind me for some reason i don't even know what they were going for but whatever now that we're at the middle they're not i mean i'll take advantage of that hi what i don't know what this person is trying to do but whatever we will take them out so oh my or whatever you know we'll just leave them there they don't really affect us do they they're saying geez. Wait, what? I'm confused. Wait, why are they saying geez? Like, what? What's going on? I have no idea. But yeah, overall, esports are definitely a great thing. I think to, they have benefited the world. Maybe not in the same ways that other people view it, but I definitely think that the entertainment value in it is pretty high and definitely will benefit the world. And just the fact that it's getting accepted after like its years of struggle, I think have really helped gamers and just like I don't know. Yeah, people who like play games and want to play games for a living and competitively, they could do that. And that's definitely something that I'm just proud to say that we have as a whole, like, world is really approved on. And that's definitely something that I'm very positive about. Now, obviously, I do want to know what you guys think about the subject being as this is something that some people may disagree with me. And also, I would really appreciate if you guys could ask some adults or people of other generations, whether that be your grandparents, your parents, etc., to watch the video and then have them comment what they think and have you just write a comment for them because i don't know maybe not that they don't know how to do it or whatever but if they do then let them do it themselves and just kind of like basically ask them what they think because their opinions here do matter as well because we need to get all the different generations and viewpoints on the subject before we can really accurately make a decision on whether or not we think this actually is benefit of the world or not but you guys as a whole are going to be really helpful to this and really able to share your opinion and viewpoint. But make sure you get your parents involved, make sure you get your siblings involved, make sure you get any friends and your family and people of different generations, you know. Just because that is really going to affect what the results of this sort of thing are. And I have no idea what's happening here. Looks like we've got a bit of a troll going on, maybe? I don't really know. Just lots of lava, maybe? I don't... Oh. Oh my. I'm not going to fall into a lava pit. I am not that bad at video games. You know, I'm a pretty good Minecrafter. But let me know what you think, guys, down in the comment section. Again, ask everybody. And I'll see you guys in yet another video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Check out my Twitter and Discord down below. I'll see you guys in another Hypixel Skywars. Bye!